obviously coaching now, but have, have you ruled out uh, putting a jersey on this year as well? And how, how are you? Have you worked out a way of combining the two, if possible, if needs be? <laughs> you can never say never on playing again. Things happen in the season that make you want to play. Like I get go training now and get it. You feed the one in the play, but at the moment I'm just solely concentrating on coaching to get the boys prepped ready. Congratulations on your appointment as head coach. Uh, how are you settling into your new role at the club? The fine, really. I've been on the club uh, for many years, so it was easy enough, really, to settle in. I know everybody that's involved, so it's been okay. It's been good. I mean, it has been, um, I'm imagining, a bit of a whirlwind as well, uh, because we have, it's, it's weird you're playing Swinton, because that was the last competitive game. Um, there was no coaching staff in place at, at that point uh, in the Challenge Cup earlier on in pre-season. Um, so how's, how's that period of time been since the last time you played Swinton to this, this time round you're going to be playing Swinton? It's, it's been tough. For, you know, we've only had so many weeks to prepare, really. And um, with everything going on, like you said, whirlwind, it was, it was up in the air, really, because there was no coaching staff involved. And, and I only went down to watch a game, really. There was no thought of it. And then um, me and the owners started to talk about everything, about the club. And um, that's where it went from, really. But it's been good since, since we started back now. Um, we've been the ball a bit because of, you know, we've had a short pre-season. But um, it's been good. It's good that we play in Swinton first because we can see where we're at, really, from then to now. So it's a good, good game for us to start, really. And, and what's been your main priorities? Because uh, we should say you, you're a Ronda lad. You've you, you played you've played for West Wales. You, you played for, for South Wales. Um, played for Crusaders, didn't you? And it's old guys. So um, I mean, how um, what's been your priorities uh, during this 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 rebuild that's been going on at the club? It's just getting the players to buy into what we're trying to do. Really, we 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 want to make the club a success, like we always have. Um, so it's just getting the boys that we had got in to buy into exactly what we want to achieve really and um, fair play everyone has like that's when I've talked to boys about coming on board um, that was the main the main point that I've um, raised really is that if they're going to come on board they have to commit fully and do what we're trying to do as a club so we had a couple of names in mind a couple of boys from up north a um, couple of local boys that I've played with before and been around before knew that they couldn't do a job for us so We've got everything set up now, so we're ready to go, really. And uh, I was going to say, I mean, when it, it's, these things start to snowball, don't they? So you've got uh, limited numbers to begin with for pre-season, but then it just grows and grows and grows. And as a result of that, competition in the squad grows and grows and grows and performances goes up. So how, how's, that, how's that been building in, in recent weeks and months? It's, it's, it's been really good. Um, a few weeks ago, I'll be honest, we... I, it didn't look like that we were ever going to be ready. Um, the boys behind uh, Nathan, and the assistant, the team manager Gareth and Jared have, have worked flat out. We basically on our phones twenty four seven while we all got jobs to try and do other things as well. So um, yeah, it's it's been good. It's, it's like like I said, from a few weeks ago to now, it has been a huge huge improvement. And if we can keep on our improvement every session every week, then we'll slowly get there. We will get there. And obviously, like I touched upon earlier, so it's the level of the game you know really, really well. Um, I mean, what's your expectations for this year? Yeah, we just got to take it as it comes. Um, people think it's an easy league, and it's not. It's a very tough league to be a part of. Um, really, we just want to improve every week and uh, challenge these teams, really, because to be a success, we've got to be able to challenge the likes of Swinton. Uh, Donnie's all all these teams in the league. Um, it's going to be hard to start with because we got a uh, five games where we probably play in the top five teams in the league. So it's going to be tough, but it would be tough in one sense, but it'd be good for us in another sense because it'll get us ready quicker, really, than if we if we were playing teams that we were open to beat. At least we know where we are. And, and with regards to you personally as well, um, obviously coaching now, but have, have you ruled out? Uh, putting a jersey on this year as well, and how, how are you? Have you worked out a way of combining the two, if possible, if needs be? <laughs> you can never say never on playing again. Things happen in the season that make you want to play. Like I get go training now and get it. You feed the one in the play, but at the moment I'm just solely 
concentrating on coaching to get the boys prepped ready. And uh, yeah, that's that's solely my job really at the minute is that. But uh, yeah, you you can never say never. I'm still young enough to play, so I still got my boots in the in the van. So you never know. You just don't, you don't know. And with regards to the club more generally, um, so much great stuff been going on over the years at the West Wales to, you know, including increased pathways and with the help of Wales Rugby League and that side of things, growing the community game in South Wales. I mean, what's, what's your thoughts on, on more generally the growth of the game in, in South Wales and in West Wales as well? One thing I said when we come on board, when I come on board, is that we need to get more involved with community games right? because there's boys out there that are playing community game in, in Wales that could have an opportunity and should have an opportunity. Um, that was a big point to me coming on board and I've started working towards it, like um, talking to the, the community clubs. Um, so it's just something that we need to build on. And uh, just a, a question then, uh, finally, Ash, just, just about the Swinton game um, this weekend. Um, Tough, tough way to start, but like you say, it'd be interesting to compare compare notes with with what happened in the Challenge Cup versus you know after you know you, you've you've uh, developed this squad and uh, for this first competitive game, how how the two compare? I know it's, it's funny thing to say against Swinton's the best game to start with, but for for me personally, it is because it sets a mark of where we got to work on and what what we can work towards. So. All we can know last far is improvement, and the boys have improved. They've bided into everything through through this little preseason we've had. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'd be good. It's going to be a good game to start the season with.